Good morning, John. So I understand that your program director referred you to me because of poor performance on the in training exam. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I'm a little puzzled by my poor performance on these tests. I usually don't have any trouble figuring out what the diagnosis is or what the treatment should be. And I don't run out of time, but I never seem to achieve the scores I think I'm capable of. And my clinical performance has been fine. Of course, I missed a diagnosis here and there, but who hasn't? So let's see how you do with this practice question that I have for you. So okay. I want you to approach this exactly as if you were taking a test. The only difference being I want you to think out loud as you go through it. So any interior thoughts or commentary that comes to your mind as you're going through it, just speak that out loud so I can hear what you're thinking. And then I'll stop you at various points and ask you to answer some other questions on this question review form, okay? Okay, sounds great. So this is a 73-year-old woman with past medical history of diabetes, hypertension, knee osteoarthritis, and she's coming to the outpatient clinic feeling extremely cold and a cough. Previous two days she's been feeling weak with a non-productive cough, and on the morning of presentation she's cold, has a now productive cough with white sputum, okay. um, some right-sided chest pain with that cough, um, no fevers, rigors, limb swelling, change in bowel habits, urinary symptoms, all right. So right from the start, she's, she's 73, uh, multiple comorbidities, so clearly she's high risk for what might be a respiratory infection. And let's look at her meds, isinopril, metformin, usual stuff, no substances, lives with her daughter. Okay. So physical exam, well, she's wearing two coats, but she's alert and oriented, and no acute distress. Vitals look okay. Um, okay, temp 99. Lung exam, bronchial breath sounds in the right base, cardiovascular exam is unremarkable, and CBC, a white count of 12, chem panel is okay, normal, and right lower lobe infiltration. Let me stop you there. Okay. Uh, I want you to answer items one through six on this question review form, okay? Okay. Item one, what, what diagnosis? Well, cough, bronchial breath sounds, and infiltrate this is clearly a community acquired pneumonia. Okay, number two, um, specific clinical scenario and her severity of the disease. Okay, so she's 73, so she's old. She has multiple medical comorbidities like diabetes, so she's a high risk. I think she's a high risk community acquired pneumonia. And three, what supports that? Let's see, um, her age and her diabetes, hypertension, etc. And then, What's inconsistent? Well, nothing. That, that's the diagnosis, right? Um, how confident am I? I'm, I'm quite confident. And this, I, I'm pretty good at pneumonia. I'm pretty confident. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the last line of the question, but I'm going to keep the answers covered. Okay. And so you can go ahead and, and proceed through the question and then the question review form. Okay. So what's the best choice for management? Well, she needs antibiotics, and she's at increased risk for severe infection because of diabetes, so she's immunocompromised, and she's old, so she needs to come to the hospital for IV antibiotics. And then item seven asks you to predict your answer to the question before you look at the answer choices. To what? Hmm. I think inpatient treatment with either ceftriaxone or azithromycin. Okay, now I'll show you the answer choices and you can proceed. Okay, I'm going to still do that same thing. And how confident am I? I'm, I'm extremely confident. Okay, so your final answer is, uh, let's see, be there inpatient with ceftriaxone and azithromycin? Yes, ma'am. 